The end of February, and five days after the closure of the border between the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia and Greece at Edemani, tension starts to boil over. Hundreds of migrants, frustrated at being prevented from continuing their journey across the Balkans to the north of Europe, try to force the fence. It is the first serious incident in what is to become a huge makeshift camp and home to more than 11,000 people. It is the height of winter. Their only shelter are small tents which become entrenched in the soggy mud. They block the railway line which links Macedonia and Greece. Services are disrupted and the patience of the local people is stretched. Living conditions start to deteriorate. In the many, it's not an official camp. From the humanitarian standards, it doesn't meet all the needs and all the basic, there are not services are not well established and, and it's not organized. It's not only like one element. It's also it's sanitation, it's water, it's food, it's medical, it's, it's privacy. A rumor grows, but no one knows from where, and it leads to hundreds of people attempting to cross a dangerous river which is in flood. It is reported three people died while trying to make it to the other side. The mass attempt fails. The migrants are rounded up and forcibly returned to Edemeni by the Macedonian police. A few days later, on March the 20th, an agreement between the EU and Turkey comes into force to deport anyone who arrives in Greece illegally after that date. In the last week of March, a fleet of buses arrive at the now sprawling camp. The authorities hope to transfer 1,000 to nearby refugee camps. Few want to move, and in the end, they are reluctant to board, as no one was told to where they would be taken. Of the fleet of 20 vehicles, only four leave Edomeni with any passengers. The Greek government is overwhelmed and asks for time. On April the 1st, the Minister for Migration speaks to Parliament. The disgrace of Edomeni, the disgrace of the port, will stop. It will take time. The government needs to organise it, but it will happen. Do you want riot police or don't you? You don't. Do you want tear gas amongst children or don't you? You don't. So we need time and organisation. Despite intense criticism, the Greek government's plan is to let the migrants tire of the appalling conditions at the makeshift border camps and, without the use of force, leave of their own free will in order to seek proper accommodation at the organised refugee settlements that operate in the country. Από την Αθήνα για το Euronews, σταματής Γιάννησης.